Hi guys, I'm Sydney Olson, and today we are at a very infamous spot in Los Angeles. This is where I first took my Sukahara outside. I'm gonna come show you. So, um, this spot was very inspiring me to me because this is where Nate Weston did his Kartahara for the first time outside. Then I wanted to do my Sukahara, and then eventually Ed Scott did his Suk full here. Yeah! I first was thinking about doing a Sukahara outside probably back in 2016, 2017. And I went for it at Air Whip Challenge in 2017. And every time I did it in practice, I would land it. But then of course, when I competed it, I fell. So I thought the next progression to that was just taking it outside on something harder. Came here and was like, this is way too high. It's very sketchy. Um, the whole time I was you know, trying to get myself to go for it. I realized I had to dodge that pipe and all these weird trees and stuff. And while it's kind of soft, it's still pretty hard if you land wrong. So I was pretty nervous to actually go for it, but I just decided that I was gonna do it no matter what, because there's no perfect spots in parkour really. So you have to make that adjustment. Um, I remember I came out with Marcus and Jesse and Mish, and they were all really supportive and they didn't rush me, I took my time with it. I think my biggest fear that I had standing here getting ready to do it was just not committing. I was just scared that I wouldn't go for it and that I wouldn't do it. On the first day that I was here, it took me 15 tries <laughs> to make the suit. So coming here, the reason why I didn't really want to do this at all was because this wall is about double my height and I just couldn't even find a place to practice it in the gym or anywhere else that had the same factors. Like there was no way I could feel fully prepared for it because I just hadn't done it at that height before. So I didn't know what it was gonna feel like. And I do remember um, the biggest struggle that I had with it is I'd push off my hands, but it would be too much. And if I didn't try at all, I wouldn't get the same rotation. So it was really stressful to try and figure out that happy medium. This one, this one was very good. You just. It was just a little bit too much and you... So, like... my training mentality with this, it feels like I've grown a lot since then. I felt like a lot of these moves were kind of the be-all, end-all for me, and I sort of did them to make myself feel better about myself. So, I would come up with like these hard moves that I wanted to do first, or be the best at, or whatever it was, and sometimes I would get hurt, and I had a pretty big ego about it, but now I come at it with a sense of like self-love where I'm like, oh, I want to do this because it feels good for me. Like this is exciting for me. It's not because I'm pushing through some, some kind of pain or something. Yeah, for, th for this, I sort of remember it being a mental battle, but at the same time, I just remember doing the work. Like, I'm, well, obviously I'm not gonna stop until I get this, like, no. <laughs> and that's sort of how I do approach training still to this day is like, I just put in the work and I just keep doing it until I get it right. Like, I'm, I'm totally a perfectionist and I'm, I'm proud of it. So because it was such a weird environment doing this move, it built up my confidence to be able to do it kind of anywhere because I didn't have to work with all these like sketchy things going on down there. <laughs> so uh, actually at NAPC in 2019, I was trying to figure out a move for my big trick. Um, I had already promised myself I wasn't gonna do it on anything harder than this, but I couldn't really think of a big trick to do besides a Sukahara. So, I did it on the hardest ground I could think of, and it didn't feel great when I landed it, but I was very happy with myself over it. And it kind of just, it was able to like have me prove myself wrong again to where I was able to say like, I'm not gonna break my legs doing this. I'm not gonna hurt myself. I know what I'm doing. I'm fully capable, so I'm just gonna do it. So my advice for anyone that's in a similar situation where they're not exactly happy with where they're at, they're a little bit frustrated, is to continue to love yourself and accept that this is a process and just because you're not where you wanna be right now doesn't mean you'll never get there. You have to fully love yourself, you have to want to improve, but do it in a loving way. You need to accept where you're at now and then improve.